what we're going to be going over here are just the five basic types of intangible assets and they're going to be market, customer, artistic, contract, and technology related intangible assets. Now all intangible assets have uh, in common two main characteristics. They lack physical existence or physical existence here. That is you can't really pick them up. They're not like a piece of equipment or a building or something like that. And number two, they are not financial instruments. So let's start with our market related intangible asset here. That would be trademarks, trade names, internet domain names here, magazine, newspaper, mastheads, non-competition -compet agreements. And it could be other things, but those are just examples here. Number one, legal protection through the United States Patent Office for an indefinite number of renewals for periods of 10 years each. Therefore, they're in indefinite in life and do not amortize its cost here. Number two, if the company buys a trademark or a trade name here, it capitalizes the cost at the purchase price. Number three, if the company develops a trademark or trade name, it capitalizes the cost related to securing it, such as attorney's fees, registration fees, design costs, consulting fees, and successful legal defense of the cost here. And looking here, number two here, customer related um, intangibles here. Those would be customer list, order or production backlogs, and both contractual and non contractual customer relationships here. And number one, they'd have limited life and they can amortize the cost and you assume a zero residual value unless the asset's useful life is less than the economic life. Now looking at artistic related, those would be ownership rights to plays, pictures, literary works here, musical works, uh, photographs, video and audio visual material. Could be other things but this is just an example. Number one, copyrights protected for the life of the creator plus 70 years here. Uh, two here, examples are franchise and licensing licensing agreements here, construction permits, broadcast rights, and service or supply contracts. You capitalize acquiring and defending this uh, artistic um, intangible here, but any uh, R&D or research and development uh, related to this artistic um, uh, intangible would be expensed here. Okay, now let's go and look at contract related. Those would be franchise and license agreements, construction permits, broadcast rights, service or supply contracts. Um, and number one here, you amortize the cost of the franchise or the license with a limited life as an operating expense here over the life of the franchise. Now looking at technology related, that relates to innovations or technological advances in, and trade secrets here. Number one, patents are protected here for 20 years either as a product patent which covers the physical, physical, physical product here and process patents which covers the process of making the products here. Number two, if the company buys a patent, it capitalizes at the cost paid. Number three, you can capitalize other costs for securing the patent. That would be legal costs to secure and protect the patent. Number four, you must expense as incurred any research and development costs related to the development here of, of this technology. Okay, and let's just go look here at an overview of the accounting treatment for intangible assets. And this is uh, just guideline that you'd be using here. And of course, what what we would have here is the type of intangible you either have a limited life here or indefinite life here. Now, uh, if it was purchased here you know, with limited life, you'd capitalize it here. If indefinite life here, you would capitalize it as well here as long as it's purchased. Now, if it's internally created here, both for, uh, for a limited life here and an indefinite life, you would expense you would expense the cost here for both cases here, except for the direct costs. And what we mean by direct costs are such things as we mentioned before. Uh, legal costs here uh, would be involved here in defending uh, your your intangible, like your patent and so forth, or in setting up any intangibles, any legal costs required here. And then for amortizing here, uh, for a limited life, you would amortize it over the useful life here. And in, in indefinite life here, you do not 
amortize it. And then there, there's also this impairment testing here. For a limited life, you would do both a recovery t recoverability test here and uh, also a, secondly a fair value test if required here. And then now for the indefinite life here, uh, impairment testing, you only do the fair value testing only here. All right, so this is just an overview of, and let's just go back here. This is just an overview of the type of intangible assets, again, we just looked at uh, basic definitions here and how you would capitalize them or expense of them. Just a base, basic outline here for the market, the customer, the artistic contract here, and technology-related intangible assets.